Welcome to ITVideoCoach.com. Uh, this is going to be on Exchange Server 2007, how to remove an individual Exchange Server role after the installation has been completed with either EX Setup or Add Remove Programs and how to verify successful completion. Also find me under YouTube tag Grizzamore. That's G-R-I-Z-Z-A-M-O-R-E. Welcome everybody to ITVideoCoach.com and welcome you YouTube viewers out there great to have you aboard. We're taking a look at a video presentation on how to remove a specific Exchange server role after the Exchange install. We're going to be taking a look at two different options, but before we dive in, let's take a look at what we currently have installed. So we're going to go to the Exchange Management Console, and we're just going to go in here and verify what roles we actually have installed. So let's see what current roles we have installed at this point in time. Now the best place to go check this out would be under server configuration and we're going to go to the actual look at all the server options that we have. So just click on server configuration itself and under the role column we can see here that it tells us that we have the hub transport, the client access, and the mailbox role. So we have all three roles installed. So all we want to do right now is look at the different ways to remove those roles. So let's go take a look and see what we got. Okay, so if I go to my command prompt, I can type in ex setup slash question mark, and it shows me that I have some different options with the ex setup utility. This is a utility I can use after the setup's already been completed or post setup if you will. So I can install, uninstall, uh, recover a server, prepare a topology, configure a cluster, delegation, um, configure language packs. All these things can be done uh, with the execute setup. So if I want to script an install or modify a current install, I can use this tool as a scripting tool or I can actually just use it interactively. I also just want to show you something that's kind of interesting. We can also go into the Exchange Management Shell or the PowerShell, and we also have EX Setup here, and that way I can take advantage of that within any kind of scripting that I might do with PowerShell. So I could use combinations of scripts either from the command prompt, um, or I can create scripts, PowerShell scripts, and include the EX Setup options within a uh, PowerShell script, which is very powerful obviously. That's the name. Okay, so we're going to go out and we're going to just do this from the command prompt. I don't want to get into the whole PowerShell scripting thing for this. This is just a simple demonstration of how to remove a specific role. So if we type in ex setup slash mode colon and we're going to do a uninstall roles and we can specify client access okay it's going to do a little uh, prerequisite check just to make sure that we have all the requirements meet all the requirements that we need uh, to perform this removal of the client access role and this is very powerful because I might have a server installed and I want to take a role uh, uninstall it from this particular exchange server and then I can install install that role on a different box. So, you know, we're seeing here the flexibility that we get with Exchange Server 2007. I can have each server running a different role, hub transport, mailbox, client access. If I install all three of those roles together and I change my mind, the scalability or the flexibility lets me take that role and move it to a different box so I can uninstall it here and then install it on the box that I want. So it really gives me a lot of flexibility here uh, as far as adding roles and removing roles. So let this configuration uh, take place. So it has removed the uh, client access role. Now it's working on removing the exchange files that support the client access role. We'll let that complete. And the process of removing the exchange files is almost completed. There we go, we're at 100%. So we have uh, met the prerequisite checks. We have removed the client access server role. We have completed removing the exchange files. And we can see that we do indeed have only installed the hub transport and mailbox role. 
the client access role that was on the list is no longer present. So the removal has been successful. Now we can also repeat the process in reverse. We'll go back to the command prompt. EX setup mode install instead of uninstall, right? And then roles client access and then we'll just simply repeat the process and put it back down. It's that simple. Just remember there is another way to do this. We can also add and remove a role from the add remove programs option which we'll look at that in just a minute. So we have a couple options for adding uh, and removing roles. Okay, now to get the role installed again, we have to meet the prerequisite checks to make sure everything that needs to be in place for a client access server role is in place. Uh, we need to then copy the exchange files back down, and then we need to install the role. So we're going to let this complete and come back and verify the role uh, completion of the uh, copy of the exchange files, the loading of all the services in just a minute. And we can see that the exchange uh, client access role has been completely installed. We met the prereq checks. We installed the or copied the exchange files, and we now have the client access server role. Let's uh, verify that we have it back installed. We'll just exit out and go back into the Exchange Management Console. And we can see that, yes, indeed, we do have success. The client access role has been installed. There is another way. The other way we can do all this is just simply go to Control Panel, go to Add and Remove Programs, and we can see in the Change or Remove Programs window here, Currently Installed Programs, we can see that we can find Exchange on the list. And the first thing I would need to do is remove one of the roles. So we'll click on Remove. Now, at first thought, you might think it removes all of Exchange Server 2007. It does not remove the entire thing. All we're going to do is go out here and remove one of the roles. We'll remove the CAS role and click Next. And we're going to go through the same process, only through the GUI. We can see the client access role prereqs are met. And now we can simply uninstall the client access server role. We'll choose the uninstall option down here at the bottom. It's going to remove the exchange files and we'll let that complete. And we can see that the exchange install has indeed finished. So all we've got to do is go down here to finish and complete the installation. Once again, we can verify that we did indeed remove a role. Only this time we did it from the GUI. And we can see by looking at the role box that we do not have the client access role. So once again, we remove the role, only this time we remove the role using the GUI. So that's a nice feature to be able to remove the role with the GUI. Now we can also go back in and add the role back in using Add Remove Programs once again, Control Panel, and back to Add Remove Programs. And we simply repeat the process, only this time we're going to hit the uh, Change button, and Change would be equal to Add. So change takes us in, it loads up the GUI install program, lets us go into the server role selection window, and then we can select here uh, the client access role. So it's very easy now to go in here and just simply you know, select that client access role, and we can go ahead and continue uh, and install that particular role. And we're going to go through the same process. We're going to do the prereq check, you know, copy the files down, get all the client access role features installed, and then we can complete the install. We're just going to come down here towards the bottom and we're going to use this install option right here and we're going to uh, complete the uh, installation. So we're going to install and that will copy the exchange files down and then start up the client access role. Alright, and we're back and we have the exchange installation for the client access role or I should say adding just the client access role has completed. So all the exchange files have been copied and the role has been installed. Let's finish this off and verify that indeed the client access role is back in place. So go to Start, Exchange Management Console. We're going to load this back up and just verify that indeed that the client access role is in place. And the Exchange Management Console has opened back up again. We can see that we do indeed have the client access role is back in place. We have that guy right there. There he is. The client access role is right there for us. So we have everything we need to, to get back up and running with client access. So that you can look at for uh, adding the client access role. You can either remove it through the GUI and add it through the GUI. 
You can remove it from the command prompt and add it to the command prompt. In the command prompt with EX setup, you can script installations of servers. Always double check everything you do and make sure you test it in a lab first or watch one of my videos at itvideocoach.com or check out YouTube at YouTube tag Grizzamore. That's G-R-I-Z-Z-A-M-O-R-E. Thanks a lot and see you guys on the next video.